Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It's time once again for our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And right now I've got the Plex app opened on my phone, but as you can see, it looks a little bit different. That's because I am running the preview of the new Plex user interface that will be rolling out later this year. And you can participate in the preview and offer your thoughts on this interface. And if you don't want to do that, I am going to step through the interface in this video so you can take a look and leave some comments based on what you see here. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see this first draft of Plex's new mobile user interface. So we will start out here on the home page, and as you can see, we have our recommended section, and at the moment, it looks very similar to what we currently have on the app insofar as what shows up in this space, but this will likely get updated with smarter recommendations over time. Now on the top, we have search, we have casting, we also have a quick access to our watch list now just by clicking right here. And that will bring you into the watch list so you can go through what you have set aside to watch later. And you also have some recommendations you can find in here as well. And if we go over to the user section here, this is where all of your customization will show up. So I can adjust my profile, I can take a look at my friends, I can uh, update what services I am subscribed to for further recommendations. And of course we have our settings and the ability to switch profiles in here too. So it is just a more smart layout here, especially at the top. But the big change here is how you navigate libraries on your Plex account. So on the existing Plex interface, what you've got on the mobile side is you have to go up here to the hamburger icon and then select which libraries you want to access. And then you've got more that live behind the scenes here too that you can then pin into that hamburger menu. What they're doing now with the new interface that they're proposing is that you have a library section here dedicated at the bottom. And when you click on that, it will pull up whatever you had last looked at. So in my case, my movies folder on my Plex server here in the house. If I tap up here, I can select a different library to access. And it looks like by default, all of the uh, libraries that are on your existing server will show up on this list. And then if I go over to see all libraries, I can add additional ones. So if I wanted to add trailers from my friend's server here. I can hit the heart icon there, and now I have that on my favorite list. And if my favorite list goes too long, you can scroll it and you can pull it up here. And I think it's a lot quicker to just go up here or click down here and pick the library you want to watch and continue browsing there. And as before, you've got your browse options here. You've got all the filtering options that we've talked about in the past here. You can access your collections along with categories. So in many ways, this is new, but it's also familiar because a lot of the conventions we're used to on the prior interface are accessible here. They've also improved the landing pages for each film that you come in contact with here. So as you saw when I pulled up Top Gun Maverick, we got the nice logo there, along with our photo of Tom Cruise in front of the F-35 there, and we can scroll down and see all the stuff that uh, is associated with that. I can browse Top Gun, the regular one here, the first version. And similar, you see that logo kind of appearing in there first. And it all looks very nice and elegant here. And I think we could also take a look at the actors page too and see how that's changed. This might be similar to where it was before. This is in beta, so it's gonna run a little slower. So it'll take some time for this to uh, get hashed out into the final product. But I think you can see the direction that they would like to take here. And again, they are open to suggestions. Now, we also know on Plex that they are starting to really push their free TV and their free movies and TV shows on demand. And you can access those now in their own tab. So they will no longer be mixed in with all of the other libraries on here. So if we jump over to live TV, for example, we have all of the free streaming stuff currently playing here. If you are using the Plex DVR with an antenna, you will notice that your DVR stuff is not in here at the moment. It will be. I just checked with Plex this morning on that, so they are not ending DVR support here. It's just not in the beta at the moment, but your beta uh, will soon have your antenna channels here in a similar layout to how it works on the current version of the app. 
and then the on-demand movies can be browsed over here. So again, you've got two dedicated buttons now for getting into the Plex provided content, and that will be separate from what's in your libraries over there. And then on the end here, we have the Discover button, where you can go in and discover what other Plex users are looking at. You can also see activity from your friends here. So if I pop this up, you can see that uh, my friends, mostly me, have been watching a lot of Bluey here, and then some of my other friends were watching some other stuff here. And we've covered how all of the uh, friends functions work here on Plex. Now, one thing missing on the new interface are photos and music, and that is by design. As we mentioned a month or two ago, Plex is moving away from having the main Plex app have those functions built into it and has instead moved over to dedicated applications for music and photos. So for music, you have Plex Amp, and for photos, you have Plex Photos. And I've covered both of those apps in prior videos, and you will find those down below in the video description. Now, if you want more information on the new interface, you can head over to blog.plex.tv and read this post that not only talks about the release, but also the philosophy behind it and what they have planned for next. On this post, you will find a link to a forum post, which is right here. And here you can get information about how to access this on Android or on iOS. Right now, this is just a mobile app interface change. And you can leave your suggestions to the team in the forum here as well. So they will be uh, certainly spending a lot of time in that forum, interacting with users, taking your ideas and integrating some of them into the interface. So there you go, a first look at a new Plex mobile interface, and we will be seeing more on this as things begin to roll out. And again, check those links in the video description so you can try it out for yourself. That will do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.